everyone, Tina here. I hope your day's going wonderful. Thank you so much for joining me. We're also get today we're gonna create four cards. We're using the Simon Says Stamp Card Kit from May 2023. It's called the best year yet. So if you are in need of birthday cards, this kit will fit the bill. <laughs> I'm gonna go over everything that's in the kit and then we're gonna jump in and get started. We're gonna start by going over these four sheets. All of these are eight and a half by 11. The bottom one here looks like a piece of acetate. You could very well use this as an acetate piece, but this is Simon's Stamps uh, Stamp and Cut Shrink Sheet. So back in the day, <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying back in the day, but they used to have um, these shrink sheets that you could put in the oven and color in, and that's what this is. This will shrink, although this one is special because you can use your heat gun for that, and I'll show you how to use this, at least the way I'm gonna be using it today. And then you get two colored pieces of Simon Says Stamp cardstock. This is doll pink, this is island blue, and they're 100 pound weight, so this is great for making card bases. I'm actually not gonna use the island blue today. I'm just gonna use the doll pink. I like the bright color of it. This is, uh, this is Nina, 80 pound cardstock, great for stamping. We'll be using this to stamp our images. Our stamp set this month is a six by eight large stamp set. Lots of happy birthday sentiments and images. This is called Best Year Yet. We also get a Simon Says Stamp triangle dish. This is great for storing sequins. And then speaking of sequins, we get a sequin pack. This is called Surprise Party. There's, there's different sizes. There are sequins in here, but there's also confetti. And I love the iridescent tone to this. We get a die this month. This is a large, fancy, happy birthday die. And I noticed with this die, it doesn't fit an A2 lengthwise. Um, it will cut off the Y, or it will either cut off the B, um, or both if you center it. So this is a little bit larger um, on a portrait style card, but if you wanna do it landscape, this is a perfect die for that. So we get a large fancy happy birthday. We get some glitter gel pens. This is from Velvet Studio. There's seven colors. I went ahead and swatched them out for you guys. This is what the colors look like. Beautiful bright colors, including a gray or a silver. And all of these have that, that gray, silvery, glittery tint to them and we'll be using on these on our cards. We get a full pack of the Color Blend Pastel Cardstock Assortment. I took mine out of the package. Um, there's eight in total, and these are just so pretty. Look at the fades on these. Just gorgeous. Look how gorgeous, that looks like a sunset. So we'll be using some of these on our cards today. And these are A2 panels, so they're four and a quarter by five and a half inches. There is a glossy finish to this too. So it saves you some time if you like um, don't like to ink blend. These are perfect for that. And the, these are a hundred pound weight also. Last but not least is a tool that you are gonna love. This is the Simon Says Stamp Place and Score embellishment wand. Now I have the Place and Pierce embellishment wand and I love it. Um, this is different. This is, um, you can place sequins and stuff, but you could, there's a score, a scoring end, a stylus end, I should say. It's got the same gem infused uh, barrel. This side has a wax tip. It's a white wax tip. So if this dulls down, you can just kind of warm it up a little bit and just take off the excess and then you have it tacky again. Um, this removes. And Simon does sell refillables. There's two in a pack less for, for less than $4, I believe. So there are refills for this. And on the reverse side, you have that the ball, the stylus, which is fabulous for scoring. And it's also great for curling up flowers too. So this is the place and score embellishment wand. You'll be, we'll be using this to pick up quite a few sequins today for our projects. So that's everything in the kit. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything to the side. I'm gonna take my card stock here. I mentioned I'm not using the Island Blue today. I'm just gonna be using these two. I'm, I'm gonna quarter them to stretch this a little bit. I will quarter them to make four A2 panels. And then we'll start with our very first card. 
For my first card, I have two A2 panels. This one I trimmed one and three quarter inches off the bottom. We're gonna use this on another card. But with these two, I'm gonna die cut out happy birthday three times. One, and then I'll flip it around and fit it on the negative. And then I will die cut this out three times. And I will be right back. Okay, so I have three happy birthdays. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring in my Simon Says Stamp micro dot sheets. And I'm going to layer all of these at an angle. And I'm going to fill in my background. Let me show you real quickly. If you wanted to use glue, you very well could use glue with that. And then any extra, I will fill in over here. And micro dot sheets are great because um, there's really no mess. I'm going to start with my You just open it up, press it down really good. And then you can adhere your happy. It's in two parts, but it's easy to place them. And I'm doing tone on tone because I like the dimension that it adds. And I'm going to continue till my whole entire background is completed. And I just need to use my place and score wand. And we added the eyes. And then our background panel is good. I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to use my glue. We're going to take our panel and add this to our card base, which is a standard A2 size card base. We'll just cover the entire front. I just love the way this looks. I want to help keep this closed with my tape runner because we can work on a flat surface. For my sentiment, we're going to bring in our stamp set here. And I'm also going to bring in one of our Color Blend Pastel Cardstock Sheets. And I really like this one. I'm going to use this as a nice bright and cheery color. And I'm going to take my Wish Big and an acrylic block here. I'll treat this with my anti-static powder tool. I want to go over here. And I'll ink this up with my watermark ink. We'll stamp this and then I'll go over this with my white embossing powder. Tap off the excess and we'll use the heat gun and melt this. Now I'm gonna take a circle die and I will cut this out. My sentiment is die cut. We're going to layer these both together. I'm going to take this and we're going to place this towards the upper part of our 
card base here. Place this. I think that's a good spot. And then to bring in a little bit of color, I'm going to stamp one of my candles. I'm going to take one of our Nina cardstock and I'll use my Memento ink and we'll stamp this. And I think I'm going to stamp the other one too, just for good measure. Because I'm not sure which one I want to use. And I'll color them in with my markers here. So I colored in my candles. I'm going to fussy cut them out just using my scissors. And I'm not sure if there's a coordinating die set for our stamp set. If there is, I will link it down below. And I think I'm going to crisscross them over the white here. And then I'm going to just tape them down together. After I crisscross them, I'm going to bring in some twine. I want to tie a bow with it. And then I'm going to put a foam square behind here. We'll just trim it down. I'll remove the release paper. We'll tack this where we want it to be, and I want it to be right over the I and the wish, and then I'll tie a bow with it. I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle with my diamond stickles on the flames of the candle. And that is card number one. For my next card, we're going to stamp some presents. I'm going to use my blocks here. I'm going to stamp both of the large and the small present. We'll stamp each one twice. And I'm going to zoom in. I'll play a little bit of music while I color these. And then um, when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, my coloring is all done. I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut each one of my presents out. And I will be right back. My presents are fussy cut out. And we're going to go with these. I'm going to go ahead and take that piece of doll cardstock. And we're going to add some cloud. Um... A cloud background with this. I'm going to be using a blending tool and my white, my picket fence distress ink to do this. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit. Of, I just wanted a little extra color. I didn't want to take away from my doll pink um, cardstock, but I just wanted to add some 
a little playful panel. Just some quick and easy coloring just to give it a little extra. We're not taking away from the doll pink, but I do want to add a little bit of something on this panel. Okay, I'm going to take this panel, we're going to put this on our card base. Our card base is going to be a standard A2 size card base. Once we have this adhered, I did put the clouds, normally you would put them this way to create a cloudy scene, but I wanted like a scallopy, scallopy background, so I put it upside down. Now before we adhere our presents, I'm going to stamp my sentiment directly on my card base. And I'm going to bring in my stamping positioner for this. And then I'm going to ink up my happy birthday with my VersaFine ink. We'll go ahead and stamp this. Beautiful. Inside of our stamp set, we also have some extra sparkle images. And I have those on some small acrylic blocks here. We're going to stamp some extras. But I want to do it around my presents here. I'm going to take my two large presents, kind of place them wonky right below my, sent my birthday sentiment. And then we'll go ahead and add these. Almost going over the seam that we created with that cardstock. And then I'll take my VersaFine ink and those extra sparkles and we're going to add a little bit of extra sparkle. I think that's just the right amount. I'm going to bring in my glitter pens. And our presents are kind of basic, so I thought we would add some polka dots using our glitter pens. And so I'm just going to add some small circles. And I'm just finishing up with the polka dots. And they work out perfect because you get the color, but then you get the sparkle that goes with it. Now lastly, I'm going to bring in my little Simon Says Stamp Triangle. And we're going to fill it with some sequins. And then I'm going to add some dots of glue. First I like to place my sequins. I think that's the right amount. Just a couple coming up from the presents. I think it's nice and festive. And that will finish this card. For my next card, we are going to use the Stampin' Cut Shrink um, Sheet. I just trimmed mine into quarters. So this is a quarter panel, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. Now, I'm using my magnets because I'm going to stamp with my Stazon ink. This is a really sticky ink. Um, and it always picks up whatever I stamp on. So I'm hoping that my magnets and the sticky mat behind it will keep it down. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but I have it in the corner where I want it. Now I have also a die that I'm going to use to cut out my happy birthday. I put the happy birthday in our stamp set. This one here. In, on the lower portion of my panel so I have a little bit left over if I wanted to use it and I'm going to ink up my happy birthday 
with my stays on ink. And I've had this forever, and I don't know if it's just going to work or not, but it doesn't hurt to try it. I always love the way the stays on ink smells. So we'll stamp. You see how it's, it pulled it right up? Magnet and all. <laughs> um, and I'm a little blotchy, so I'm going to put it in and I'm going to stamp one more time. Press down really good. And I think we're good. We're going to roll with it. I'm going to put this off to the side. Put my cover back on this. I don't know if they have a re-inker for this or not. I'll have to check that out. But so here we have our, our happy birthday on our stamp and shrink. I'm going to use my circle die, center it, and I will run this through my die cut machine. I'm going to bring in my Positively Everything tool um, because one, this is going to help keep this from blowing away on my desk. Um, my my craft mat is is heat resistant, but I um, I'm using this is like silicone, and so it's going to help keep it in place. Also, and it's going to probably want to blow blow around, <laughs> so this is going to help with that. So any kind of silicone mat you have would work perfect. And then my craft mat has a little bit of texture to it, and so. I'm going to use some stamping blocks, so after this is shrunk all that it can to help flatten it more, I'm going to use these as a pressure tool to keep it flattened. Okay, so it's going to be a little bit noisy, but you're going to see, I'll zoom in, It's when it shrinks, it's going to shrivel up and you're going to think, oh gosh, I ruined it, but you didn't. Just hang tight with the heat and it will flatten out, kind of magically flatten out. Okay, so let's, because I had to practice. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and I'll show you what this does. Okay, now that it's flattened, I'm going to pick it up. It's a little pliable still. I'm going to place it on my acrylic blocks. On the smooth side, I didn't want the I didn't want the the grids because your your little piece will pick up the grids. So I'm just going to press it down to help smooth it out. And there is our little happy birthday. I have a bubble in there. But I think it's workable. It's like a little, um, a little chip. <laughs> this, this could get really fun really quickly. While we have our gun out and everything out, let's do something else. I'm going to take this piece that we are using. I'll bring in my paper trimmer. I'm going to trim this down to the one and a half inch mark. And then we will trim this to the two, to about two and an eighth inches. So we have two of the same size pieces. And with this, we're going to, so we have two, let me push this out of the way, we have two rectangles. They're kind of smeared a little bit. I'm gonna layer them together and then using a hole punch. If you want a hole to create a tag, you would punch it out now so I'm just going to use a regular hole punch. 
punch out both of these at the same time. And then I'm going to create a tag with one by just, just cutting off the corners. If you have a die that will cut out a tag, you could use that too. And then on this one, I'm going to create a banner. So I will just trim. Let's evenly trim it. Okay, so I fishtailed the bottom here. So we have a tag and a banner. And then what I'm going to do is take my, uh, my alcohol markers. I'm going to use B15 for this one. And I'm just going to go over it. Let me grab some cardstock so you can see, so I can see. So now these are done. Now I'm going to bring back my Positively Everything tool here. And I'm going to do one at a time. And we're going to melt these. Then I'll add this here and I'll smash it to help flatten it. Oops, kind of fly away. And then we have a little tag that is super adorable. It's a little bit splotchy with the color, but at least we have some color there. And we're going to do this one. flatten this I have a little bit of alcohol uh, marker on my blocks to remove it just use your alcohol and you know what if you don't like the colors you see how this is kind of blotchy blotchy if you don't like the color you can always use alcohol I'm using an alcohol prep pad. You can always use alcohol, flip it around the right side, and then you can use this to remove the color. So it's a lot softer. You can do that to this one too. So color is a quick and easy fix. It does get on your hands though. And then if you want to add color after the fact. Let's see if we can add some color here. You get a less intense color this way. I'm going to go ahead and Okay, so we have a tag and a little banner. We're going to put these to the side and we're going to focus on our next project. For my next card, we are going to fill the entire background. Now that we have our happy birthday done, we're going to take a card front panel of our Nina cardstock. I'm using the large present in my Memento ink and we're going to fill in our background with presents. And then I'm going to color them in off camera. Now I created my background, again using the same colors. And then I have my last panel that we're going to use. And I used this, a rectangle die and cut out the center because I want to use this inside piece for my last card, but I do want a pink border on my card base. So I'm going to take this panel, I'm going to flip it around, and just using my tape runner, we're going to adhere it directly on our card base. 
we're going to keep this card really simple. I went through my cardstock and I found an orange and a teal that matched the colors that I was using. I'm going to fishtail the very bottom ends. Once these are fishtailed, I'm going to place these. We're going to layer them together with maybe a little bit of adhesive. I'll just flip it around, add some adhesive behind here. Now, I'm not sure how, I, how I'm going to tack this down here to my card. Um, maybe I should have put a hole in it. Let me see if I can punch a hole in it after the fact with my crocodile. I might ruin it, and if I ruin it, we ruin it together. Oh, so my We Are Memory Keepers crocodile was strong enough to punch a hole in it, but I don't recommend it. I recommend putting a hole in it before you shrink it because you might crack it. I think I have a little bit of a crack here. I'm going to take some white twine and we will thread it through here. And I think I'm gonna try a micro dot, the micro dot sheet and see if I can tack it without it showing. And I think it might work. I'll place this here on my banners. Oh yeah, and you can't see it. So the micro dot sheets work great for holding that. And then I'll tie a bow with this. And I'm going to leave my card like this. I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle with my glitter glue. The one I like to use is my diamond stickles. And I'm just going to go over some of the presents. And that finishes, a lot of textures on here, that finishes off card number three, and we're going to jump in with our final card. For my final card, we're going to use our little banner and our tag, and then I did color in the two of the single balloons, and then also the little balloon cluster, and then I fussy cut them out. Um, we're going to create a photo frame for this card, and I have a panel that measures three and a quarter inches wide by four and a quarter inches tall. What I'm going to do is take a square rectangle die, place it here, and then we're going to die cut out the center. So now we have our photo frame. We're going to keep the inside piece, and then I'm going to take the sentiment that says birthday wishes. I'll pick this up with an acrylic block, and we're going to stamp this on the very bottom here. I'm going to use my VersaFine ink. And we'll stamp this right here on the bottom. Wonderful. Now this was the inside piece of the card that we just made. We, we, this was the inside piece of that frame. I'm going to take this and I'm going to place this uh, kind of wonky on my card here. I'm going to use my tape runner for this. Maybe we'll go this way. Once this is adhered, I'm going to take this and you, we use that cloud stencil. I'm going to add some clouds in the background here. And I think that's just what we need. I'll finish the bottom. Okay, I'm going to use this as a guide, place it the opposite way of my doll pink cardstock, kind of at a little angle, and then I'll take some adhesive, put it behind this square, making sure my clouds are right side up, I'll tack this on the inside, 
and then I'm going to take this panel and I'm going to pop it up with some foam tape. I'm going to put one foam square at the top and then some adhesive at the bottom. And we will add this. Doing a little tucking. And then I'll take these two. We're going to put some foam squares behind here. So we have some fun festive balloons. Now I'm going to take our tag and our banner and just for a little added texture. Do we want to put them here? I just put the micro dot sheet behind my banner and then I can tack these down at the base of the balloon so you can still see the birthday behind there for a little added texture and then I'll just trim the tails off of my twine here and I'm going to use my gel pen and I'm going to do a little highlighting on each of the balloons with the coordinating gel. Just It's going to have sparkle and I think it's going to work out great. I'll use my orange for the orange balloon just for a little extra sparkle and then that will finish off my final project today. And then these are all the cards that we created today with the Simon Says Stamp May 2023 card kit. It's called Best Year Yet. And I hope this gives you some ideas on how to create with the kit. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And we will see you soon. Bye-bye.